Hi everyone, I want to show you how to run the man Whitney test in past. But before we do that, I want to show you what why would you choose to run man Whitney, which is actually quite similar to two sample t test. And what I did, I I have the data for sailors, female and male, and rugby seven players in the Rio Olympics. I have the height and weight. And I will now plot a histogram of the female rugby seven players. I go to plot histogram, and you can see that this is not symmetric. Usually, when you have a, a normal distribution, the histogram will be symmetric. If it's not symmetric, and you use t-test, you get the first law of com computers, which is rubbish in, rubbish out. You don't want to have rubbish in your results. So in this case, I will use a Man Whitney test to compare the, the mean height of female and male. So I select the height, the sex column, which is a grouping variable, and the heights. Now I go to univariate, two sample tests. Calculates. I don't use the t-test. I use the Man Whitney test, and you can see that I have 304 females and 365 males, and I have the rank, the mean rank for each one of them. And the bottom line is that the chance they they have the same median is very very low this one is zero and this one is almost zero it's two calculation methods but male and female have different heights which we know from other places thanks for your listening